All right, y'all. Back with you again today. Got this 05 Nissan Altima I'm doing a complete install on. Uh, I'm going to do it a little backwards on this radio so I can kind of show you how uh, what we've done in here. But I've got the uh, AVHP 4200 looking all flush and everything. Um, there's a little modification I'll show you guys in a later vehicle. I mean in the video how to do that. <coughs> uh, right now we're getting ready to run wire through the firewall. Uh, let's take a look in the trunk. <laughs> Ain't nothing there. Not yet anyway. But we'll get to there. I'm still doing the big three on this thing. I've got part of it done. Still waiting on some other parts to come in. Uh, as you can see right here, we got the ground with the one odd gauge wire. Got the kinetic battery. That's a 1200 series. Uh, Pretty, I mean, that was good enough for this system. He's only running about 1,200 watts in here. Um, we're gonna, what we're going to do with here, I mean, I can show you better than I can tell you, but it'll be in a later video. But we're just going to jump this wire to another one of these Rockford Fosgate um, terminals. And then we're going to use that terminal and then put a fuse. We're not gonna we're not gonna put it right here because he's replacing this with a KM filter. We're gonna put our fuse um, circuit breaker right here. Jump the wire to the circuit breaker, and from the circuit breaker on back to the one on wire going back to the back. And uh, getting ready to drill a hole. Right here is the firewall for this this particular vehicle. And I'll show you why we're gonna drill a hole in a firewall. Look up under here. Nissan has made it convenient for you. Let me see here. If I can do this camera right, turn the light on. There's a little area right there you can drill a hole in. We're going to try it out. I did it in a 99 Altima. Because, see, if you look at the firewall here, they got that packed tight. And you ain't getting no wire up through there. And then that little um uh, console type thing up there in the front it's not gonna allow you to pull no wire through it anyway so we're just gonna drill a new hole right there and you got a little cover right here and uh we'll get started doing that and we'll pull this wire on through and then i'll continue to show you how to do that okay see we've drilled our hole right there and we've uh, ran our grommet in there for our one hog wire. And now we'll go ahead and uh, take all our paneling off, run our wire to the trunk. And uh, I'll show you guys after we're done with that what it looks like. All right, so we're taking the radio out now and uh, running our wires. See, I've got the uh, the uh, bypass and the harness and everything on here. Got our wires for the RCAs, the uh, amp turn on, and the uh, base booster on this side, and the power wires on the other side, as I showed you earlier. So just make sure you do that. Make sure your power wire is uh, all by its lonesome. So we'll get these hooked up and uh, go from there. All right, I just finished the big three. Got the uh, here, from here. Like I said, I jumped the wire from here all the way over to the alternator. Came back behind here to the uh, terminal. Came from the terminal to the fuse block right there. Went to the, uh, I'm sorry, the circuit breaker. Went from that side to the circuit breaker. Went from the circuit breaker. Back all the way to the trunk. And got our wire back here. And our remote wire. I used black. This was the cheap wire that came with the uh, 
sound quest kit. Don't get those kits. I mean, it's cheap. I think this was like a six, um, maybe even an 18 gauge. So I dropped it down and put a little thick remote wire on it. We put some, uh, I believe this is 14. I think that's 14. No, maybe maybe 16. Either way, it's thicker wire than that. One, so we'll go ahead and uh, put our paddle in. Oh yeah, got the ground block. Mount it right there. So I'm gonna put, my, uh, put the rest of the stuff in here. And uh, show you guys. Finished product. All right, all right YouTube, just real quick. There's the setup. See that? Let me move this light a little bit so you can see the big what the big three did. Uh, that's reading 14.1. It's dark out here. I've been out here all day. Um, I don't know why I put that distribution block in there because I'm not even using it. But anyhow, we got the cap. We got the. Uh, it's just a way of life. To tsunami. Um, fuse distribution block there. Got the amp. And our ground is up under there. And uh, I'll try to clean this up a little bit. But it's alright for right now. Uh, I'm going to put this box in here and then see what it sounds like. Alright guys, uh, watching the video, I realized I skipped something I didn't show you. Grab this flashlight, put in this bad boy. Let me show y'all that why when I said I was going to show you. That four, I mean uh, that one on wire right there, going up through the grommet. Everything, but we done with it. We done with everything, there it is. Yeah, that bad boy was right there. Alright. Going back through here. Back up to the front. What I didn't show you is the wire running to the, uh, to the alternator. Coming off of here. You got a tuck there. I got a put a uh, wire tie right there but it's going all the way to the alternator up under here you can see that but it's going up under there yeah get you some of that loom too but it's good i didn't put none right here just to give it a little visual effect and everything but nothing's gonna get hot in this area i mean that that pipe right there but this wire never go down that far Everything. So, going back to the trunk real quick. Show, sure, like I said, show you the finished product. Yeah. That's the uh. That's a ten punch ten uh D four. T D four uh, ten yeah dual forearm ten is what it is. Send this box in. Pull this up. <laughs> Hadn't secured my box yet, but it's pretty hip. Show you out again. Everything back here. Everything nice and clean. In this bad boy, push this back. <clears throat> Run up in the front here, turn this thing on. See what it sounds like. Alright. <sighs> I ain't gonna be able to turn it up loud. So you get the general idea.
too loud. I had it on, uh, I had it on eight. So, all right. Well, that's it, man. And, uh, name of that song is Plies. There you go, right there. Aristotle. One more time for it. Yeah, if y'all want me to hit up another video with this thing cranked up, uh, you know, let me know. I'll put something on for you and beat this thing up for you. Alright, peace out, y'all.